So something absolutely huge just happened. Star Wars Outlaws was announced, and this is a first of its kind open world Star Wars game. So needless to say, people are absolutely excited. But do not get your hopes up, because there is a lot of bad that we are already seeing in these trailers. And for anyone who doesn't want to hear bad things about this, tune off, because this video is going to be like 99% negative. Because what I am seeing from what we currently have access to, this looks very bad. This looks like an absolute monumental disappointment in the making. So... First of all, let's start by wa uh, by watching the trailer. If you haven't seen the trailer, well, I'm going to pause it in a lot of places, so maybe you want to watch it before. But yeah, we're going to be breaking down the trailer, and then we're going to be talking about things that actually surround this game. Because there are a lot of things currently that are absolute ginormous red flags for this game to not be a disaster, sadly. So, let's see the trailer. These are dangerous times. At least, that's what I hear. The Empire? Good start with TIE pilots and whatnot, you know. Not bad, right? They're everywhere. But the world here? That's, by the way, probably Han Solo. Who else could it be? Belongs to the syndicates. Okay, so first of all, they're already essentially announcing that there's gonna be a little bit hint of the Empire, but this is gonna be a vastly, probably very little association with Jedi's and whatnot. This is gonna be like purely a syndicate-based game, you know, all, all all the huts and whatnot, that kind of experience. Classic bar start. This is th this is our main protagonist. I I have to play their game. Yeah, because that would be not spotted by anyone. Looks like I'm all in. So essentially, we are introduced to a crafty character who likes to take risks and play dangerously. Now the problem is, anyone with three brain cells would instantaneously understand, wait a minute, if she tries anything like that, she's instantaneously gonna be caught. So this is our first problem. This is made by Ubisoft, okay? We're gonna talk about why this is a problem that this is being made by Ubisoft, because this is a huge problem, by the way, because it's being made by Ubisoft. But this is already a problem. Anyone with two brain cells can understand that this is... This is kind of a good signaling of how bad the storytelling could possibly be, because this is absolutely unbelievable. This ha This has no suspense in it. Anyone understands that if anyone did this in real life, they would be caught instantaneously. Yeah. She's in here somewhere. On second thought, I'm out. There she is. Not the first sequence, by the way. And then we have bounty hunters that are literally like uh, roughly 10 meters apart from her who can't land the shot, which means they have probably stormtrooper type of training. Uh, then we have one more thing. From this trailer, we can easily tell what's, what's going to happen. You're going to have long range combat and from this magical flying punch right here, you're going to have, uh, you know, Close range combat. And we have no choice, by the way, of our character currently. We are 100% gonna be playing as this woman right here. So, yeah, it's gonna be very fun going into close range combat uh, with a lower scenario 5-3 five, uh, five, woman, best case scenario 5-6 woman, and then beating up men who are twice our size. Yeah. 
that that's gonna probably be an experience that everyone honestly want or wants to see. So that's a huge problem on its own already. You know, the flying punch, the fact that she can knock out a man, which is kind of stupid and unbelievable. Because small things like this matter. If you want a good experience, it needs to be believable on at least a fundamental level. Yes, we are talking about a galaxy far, far away that's filled with magic and bullshit and lasers. But, but still, we, we understand magic, we understand lasers, but here you, but you, here you have, you know, things that completely suspend all this belief. Yeah, see that? So, then they're following her. They take shots, and again, she's literally like right there. Right, right there next, next to them. So, if she's right there, they, they're, they're not aiming straight at her. To, to miss with that much, uh, uh, that badly, you need to aim like this. Your aim needs to be like this. It needs to be that crooked, okay? For you to miss that bad. So this is already... It's... it's, it's why are you running from stormtroopers? Let's just put it like that. They, they would never harm you in the first place. Then she's probably, by the way, in some kind of smuggler's den, and then, then di and she has this bike that magically doesn't get stolen from her. Because, you know, she wasn't in a smuggler's den where everyone around is corrupt and most likely trying to make easy money. Yeah, yeah this is believable. <laughs> Completely random explosions, because explosions are cool. And by the way, yeah, because everyone likes Baby Yoda and everyone likes cute little companions, there you go. Another one. Admittedly, I have nothing against this, but man, it's like, the next game is also going to try and create a companion like this. And it's going to fail because no one will want to see a fifth iteration of some kind of companion that does things. My whole life... Finally be free. Yeah, we have the classic, oh, I'm such a badass speech, blah, 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 without anything. She's probably not, She her backstory is probably going to be like two sentences. Wherever that takes me. I'm here to offer you a way out, okay? Get off my ship, Jalen. Give me a chance. You're going to have to trust me. It'll be dangerous, risky, but if you pull this off, you'll never look over your shoulder again. What do you mean it's gonna be dangerous, risky, and if you do it, you're never gonna have to worry about your life ever again? How does that make even sense? So, as you can see, we have so many different member berries sprinkled in here without any gameplay, without anything, just introduction to a badass character that we're supposed to instantaneously just gobble up. The underworld shows no mercy. But it's a big galaxy out there, and I'm gonna... So many member berries. Risk it all. Obviously. And yes, if you're wondering, she's perfect at everything. Running, punching, flying, blah, blah, blah. You call it, this is probably it. So, all of this is a huge problem. All of this is a huge problem because it's made by Ubisoft. Ubisoft has a horrific history of, well, storytelling. All of their stories are mid at best and i'm not even trying to use that in, uh, uh, that as an insult their last story that they pretty much told was far cry 6 where people were literally complaining about it being maybe arguably far too woke you know it wasn't exactly there but the question was there like is that are they completely woke and yes ubisoft in the meantime has completely gone to the absolute without question woke side so our character most likely will not have a lot of development 
She's just going to be the bestest ever. She's probably going to... I think she's going to be literally Ray 2.0. That's what it currently looks like. And again, Ubisoft has a horrible track record. They, the only, the only story-driven games that they have done when, uh, done when you look at their, uh, at their release is pretty much Far Cry 6. And then there's a bunch of Assassin Creeds. Assassin's Creed. Everyone's tired of that shit game. That's it. That's all they have. And well, there's also the crew. Which I don't think even has a story. I've never played it. It's a racing game. So, Ubisoft's credentials to make this game and make it good are close to zero. Are literally close to zero. Their higher-ups are incapable. Their studio is absolute failure. They have cancelled project after project after project because they're bad. And they know they're gonna lose money because they are incapable of telling a proper story. They are incapable of making a game uh, with a story. And this is, yeah, that that's pretty much it about Ubisoft. Uh, best case scenario, this game is gonna be Assassin's Creed but Star Wars. Best case scenario, probably. And yeah, it's gonna have all those spastic moments where, yeah, girl power and probably all of that. Which is, by the way, th it's completely fine. But I don't trust Ubisoft to make a good story, you know? I'm completely fine with having a female character. Hell, if I have a choice, I always play, play female characters, by the way. But you need to make the story right. And if you're gonna implement a lot of girl power BS, which Ubisoft 100% will, uh... It's gonna be bad, probably, because you need to write that thing good. And ooh, I, and I literally give zero chances that Ubisoft is gonna be good. Now, obviously, people are completely ecstatic about it because you know it's the Star Wars community. Uh, you you literally shit out a turd, stamp it with the Star Wars logo. You don't even need to pour glitter on it, and this hardcore Star Wars fans are gonna be literally ah. Oh! Best thing ever. Yeah. So, also, I kind of think it's going to be probably delayed because they showed us only a teaser hype trailer. And it's supposed to be uh, coming out in two, uh, tw uh, 2024, which makes absolutely no sense and seems blatantly impossible, by the way. But, you know, that that's fine, probably. So, it's either going to be rushed or delayed because... There's no shot you make a trailer like this without showing any gameplay. Now, admittedly, tomorrow there's going to be some kind of thing in the Ubisoft thing, but it's probably going to be pre-rendered footage like always. Best case scenario, it's Fallout 76, baby. And that game, after how much? Five years? Whatever. You know, they... They, did, they didn't even try to make a story for Fallout 76 because that's how bad at storytelling they are. And it doesn't matter that it's an open world game. An open world game still needs a good story behind it because it's really, really hard to just make the gameplay by itself so, so, so unbelievably compelling. So that's probably not happening. So yeah, this whole experience is just a giant red flag for me and I am not expecting too much. And considering, considering Ubisoft can't even do the most basic thing is insane. Like, look at this. This is Space Karen. She literally looks like Space Karen. I, I, my expectations for this are unbelievably low. 6 out of 10. And then we're talking about a triple A game. So anything below a 7 out of 10 should be considered an absolute disaster. You know, is it going to be ba as bad as Anthem? Probably not. But this is not going to be something you want to play. This is not going to be something you want to replay. And that's kind of sad, because this could have potential, but with everything that we know about, you know, how Star Wars is going, how, you know, Ubisoft is in general, I don't think we, I, I don't think there's a lot looking forward to this. Anyway, that's pretty much it. I'm out. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.